Hi friends! Welcome back to another video. This video is a little outside of our normal upload rotation because today is a very special day. Mm -hmm. What is today, baby? Today we're celebrating the launch of Travel Life. I business. cannot believe it. It has been 365 days, one full year, since we launched Travel Light Co. And if you don't know what that is, that is our candle business. Uh, we make clean, non-toxic candles. And so Travel Light Co. is our business name. And October 1st, 2021 was the day that we launched. And that was such a fun day. Yeah. If you have not watched that vlog, that was probably one of my favorite vlogs we've done on this channel. What are some of your like favorite things of the day? I'll tell you mine after yours. Yeah, so a couple of my favorite moments were um, definitely delivering the candles. Mm -hmm. That was fun. It got exhausting at a certain oh my point, gosh, yeah. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a fulfilling moment. Another one of my favorite moments was uh, dropping candles off and just kind of seeing like the progress, the yeah. process of packaging. I love yeah. like um you know packaging videos seeing how things are wrapped definitely and the handmade handwritten notes yeah. and just like the you know little quality moments that make us a unique candle right business. What, yeah. what are some of yours uh definitely dropping off candles throughout the day i think seeing people's reactions to the candles i think that's always my favorite part whether we do like pop-ups or just anytime i can see mm -hmm. someone interact with a product that i made is just so fun. I'm sure you feel that way about music, like hearing, seeing people's reactions to the song you made. It's just so fun and like, you enjoy it, like really genuinely, you like it. Uh, so seeing people's response to, and that was like the first response we had received, because obviously that was like launch day. Right. So outside of my mom and my sisters, because sometimes I feel like family just like gives you a reaction because it's family, but seeing people actually spend money and not hate it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also packaging the orders and everything. Cause even before we went to sleep, we started having orders at like midnight mm -hmm. cause we like opened the website at midnight. Yeah. And so just going to sleep like giddy, ready to like package those and ship them out or get them ready for, yeah. for delivery was so fun. Yeah, it felt like Christmas. It did. <laughs> so I think that was some of my favorite moments. But if you haven't seen that vlog, I will put a few clips here um, to show you what the day kind of looked like, but definitely check out that vlog. We will have it in the description below. Um, so enjoy some of our clips. Watch day's tomorrow. Watch day is finally so tomorrow. That was so fun. Yeah. I know I just awesome. kind of talked about it, but seeing people's reactions and stuff like that made me think about pop-ups and we've done so many pop-ups mm. throughout this year. Yeah. Uh, I think our first pop-up we did was like 15 days after we actually launched, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, but can you think of any pop-ups and if you can, which one would be your favorite? Um, it's hard to, it's hard to like narrow it down like to one, but yeah. if I had to choose two, Okay. <laughs> I would say <laughs> the first one was probably it's a coffee shop at the beach here in Jacksonville called Sigo Coffee oh, yeah. Shop. That was one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Uh, it was cold that day. Saw a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new faces. Yeah. That was a different scene for us. Yeah. Um, different, a different crowd, and it was cool, like yeah. in, engaging with them out there. The second one I'll probably say was was it Riverside? No, Murray Hill. What was it yeah, called? Yeah, Vagabond. The Vagabond. Yeah. yeah. Uh, flea market. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a lot of a lot of other creative brands out there. Mm -hmm. We we really got to do one of the things I love about pop up shops yeah. is you can do a lot more than what you can do online. Oh my gosh! Um, yeah. And just in terms of content, you know, you're you're rubbing elbows with people. You're meeting other vendors, <laughs> other companies. They're giving you tips, yeah. letting you know like the the best things to go to. You're you're meeting customers face to face. It's just the interaction that you can't really replicate online. So yeah. those are two of my favorites. I what agree. Honestly, I totally forgot about the Seiko Coffee pop up shop. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna change my answer because that was definitely one of my favorites. 
That was definitely one of my favorites. I think my all-time favorite was the Sisterhood one, which is the first pop-up we ever did. Um, I didn't actually do a video on that, but I did do like a recap video, mm -hmm. um, just kind of telling you guys what I learned. But that one was so fun. I was so nervous because I've never done a pop-up shop and I just launched my business 15 days ago. It was just a lot of new stuff, mm -hmm. uh, but that one was probably the one I learned the most at because that was the first time I was selling my product in person to people I had no interaction with previously. And it just showed, it taught me a lot about sales, um, taught me a lot about how to run like the back end products because my God, you guys, I had such a time <laughs> with all the, the systems that we were using. So that one, and I think that was probably the one we sold the most product at ever mm -hmm. in like That's any of our be shopping. I know. <laughs> so we're actually gonna be at Sisterhood again this year and I think I'm, go I'm gonna try my best to actually vlog that day so you guys can kind of see how the day goes and just like everything I'm kind of talking about. And for the, for those of you who don't live in Jacksonville or who don't know what mm. Sisterhood is, it's a women's conference here at a church in in Jacksonville, Florida, and it's yes. a pretty big event. Um, it happens annually around the fall, around this time. Mm -hmm. And they have one of the days in the conference, they mm -hmm. have like a shop. Like yeah, a, it's like a night market. A market, mm -hmm. yeah, where different vendors can come. They have food truck. There's yeah. a DJ, and it's just like a really fun night. Last mm -hmm. year, it rained terribly, so we're praying that this year it doesn't happen. But, but it we is bought super a tent. fun. I know it's insane, but we have a tent, so we yeah. are prepared. Because the great thing about things going wrong, there's really no L in life. That's the true. only L there is is a lesson. So Ooh. a lot of L's were received that night, which means a lot of lessons were given. So the next pop-up and the next pop-up, we just kept improving. So it's like, bet it's gonna rain, we got a tent. Yeah. Okay, we want, want more of an experience, we got rugs, we got mm -hmm. plants, we have, you know, lights, just, just different ideas to do it better yeah. each and every time definitely. so we'll definitely you know be leveled up this year for it <laughs> yeah so i would say that was my number one and then i was gonna say vagabond but i think i'm gonna change it to sago because that was so fun first of all we love cold weather so anytime it's cold here we thrive so it was cold that day we got like free chai uh we met a bunch of different other vendors mm -hmm. It was just a really chill day. That one I also vlogged, I'll put that in the description below. Uh, but here are a few clips from some of our favorite pop-ups that we did over the last year. So enjoy those. What Wes said, or what Wes just said, I think is like so imperative. There are no L's in life. It's like the L's are only lessons. And I've learned so many lessons over the last year being in business and running a business. And I just wanna share some things that I've learned with you guys. Um, and I would love in the comments if you could tell me what you've learned being yes. in business or if this video has helped you in any way. Um, but one of the things I've learned I think is the biggest thing is just because I don't have like a big following online doesn't mean I'm not doing enough or doesn't mean I'm not moving my business forward. That has been like an internal battle that I've been going through for like the last year. <laughs> um, because the truth of the matter is I'm really not the best at like short form content like social or um, Instagram and TikTok and stuff. I think I could, I could be, I just don't prioritize that and so I always, I used to always compare my business with other businesses on Instagram and stuff and like 
why can't I get this way or whatever and I might have more sales or, or something but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not doing anything in my business because there are a lot of things that you guys don't know or don't see that I'm doing behind the scenes for my business and so I just have to constantly remind myself that there is no competition um, shouldn't be comparing myself uh, because everybody's journey is different and this is what my journey looks like with my business and that's okay um, and so that's what God's been dealing with me on um, and then also just like embracing the unknown uh, going into business I'm sure you, if you're a business owner you know you don't really know any of the answers you're just trying to figure it out one step ahead of like the person you're selling to <laughs> mm -hmm. and so just leaning into that and trusting God with not really knowing what to do or where to go next um, and I will say like in in doing that the last like maybe six months or so we've had so much more direction with our business and like knowing where we want to take it and what route we want to go um, and so just really trusting the process and leaning into not knowing what I'm doing and just trusting what God is doing and what God is saying to me um, and just like taking that and running with it so I would say those are like my biggest lessons over the last um, year. Yeah. That's what about really you? Good. You have anything you want to share? Um, I think for me, my biggest thing I've learned to piggyback on what you said, because mm -hmm. you know that's definitely something I'm learning and have learned as well. What mm -hmm. you said, but I think the biggest thing with travel life specifically is learning how to pivot. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of times we approach business and new ventures trying to look for the the trail in the sand but with business i think you're making a trail mm -hmm. as you walk yeah so it's like you have to trailblaze and sometimes it's just like spider-man swings like the way <laughs> the path is where you're going in the moment yeah. so you may not see like the next step but you just because you don't see it doesn't mean you 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 don't make the next step right so whether it's like a pop-up that you didn't plan or you brought the wrong um, piece of inventory and you meant mm -hmm. to grab the other one. All right, well, we got a new sale going. Just <laughs> finding innovative yeah. ways to bounce back, be quick on your feet. Because a lot of times um, in business, we prepare for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But I think the the key moments are those those instances where you don't prepare because right. you, you couldn't have. So I think that that'll keep you... Um, doing it for a long time and that'll yeah. also keep you um, creative because you find new ways to to do it every time new yeah. ways to approach it so that's the biggest thing I've learned that's great I love that I love you <laughs> I love you too and the last thing I'll say for you is don't be too hard on yourself a lot of what Wes is saying has a lot to do with that internal conversation that you have with yourself um, and if you bring the wrong thing or uh, maybe you tell a customer the wrong piece of information like it's okay if people make mistakes you're a person it's human so just like giving yourself grace and just saying like okay well how do I just pick up and move on rather than sulking and and having like negative conversations with yourself um, at least that's what I've been teaching myself and so I just wanted to share that in case that's something you that you've been going. With yourself. yeah so those are some things that we've learned um, and some of the things that we're reflecting on as we mm -hmm. think about, you know, just one year of celebrating God's faithfulness, yeah. one year of celebrating a business. If you're watching this and you have a business or you want to have a business, we hope this encourages you and gives you the push because sometimes when you fall in love with the mundane, you know, just the everyday moments, whether it's mm -hmm. answering emails about your business or researching what an LLC is, those are moments that lead up to the big yeah. things, the, the sexy things, 10,000 followers, or I'm debt free, you know, yeah. wh whatever you, it is that you're dreaming of. Um, God says he doesn't despise a small beginning. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid to start with that seed because that seed eventually turns into a tree yeah. and that tree turns into a garden. So we hope you join our garden <laughs> and become another tree of entrepreneurship, business, and passion. Yeah. But we hope you enjoyed. This is Travel Light Co. Yes. And we're out. Bye.